if we have a gaseous system coming in at high pressure P1 and a temperature T1, and it goes through an expansion valve, thereby reducing the pressure, and it does it either so quickly or such that Q is zero, it's that well insulated, and it comes out at a reduced pressure P2 and a temperature T2, what can we work out or deduce from this system? So we're going to start with the energy balance du dt is equal to the sum of h's plus q plus w. So like we've said before, we're not going to worry about the potential energy or the kinetic energy if I've not asked you to. And in the system we can see it's horizontal, so we are okay to leave it off anyway. If we now look at each term, term by term, we'll start by noticing that q is equal to zero because that was how I defined it. A turbine is not a mechanical, sorry, expansion valve is not a turbine, it's an expansion valve, will have no work. The system is at steady state, so u du dt is equal to zero because of steady state, and we're now simply left with the two terms for h. Zero on the left, and there's going to be h in, because there's only one coming in and it's positive, one coming out, which is going to be negative, so it's minus h out, and we can rewrite that as h in is equal to h out. So if I tell you in an exam, and this is a special case, that a system is at Joule, is a Joule Thomson expansion, so that's Joule Thomson, you can jump to the fact that h in is equal to h out because of the specific nature of that expansion valve.